This is just a quick screencast to show you how to make some sliders. So let's use this button here and then I'm going to go down and click on slider and I'm just at the the web app for GeoGebra here and so I click on that and it's gonna prompt me to place the slider first so I haven't even done anything yet I just gotta put the slider on the screen so let's say that I want this to be a number this isn't very big here but that's okay uh, let's say we'll call this slope we'll do a, a quick linear equation and between negative 5 and 5 is fine. The increments right now are 0 0.1, so it's going to do 1 tenth increments. So you can change this to whatever you want. I'm going to do 1 quarter increments. You can also change the slider here, whether it's horizontal or vertical, whether it's animated, uh, all this kind of stuff. I'm going to leave it as normal here. And let's just click Apply. So when you first put it in there, it says slope. Now to change this to slide it back and forth, I need to click back on the arrow, pull it back and forth. There's my slider. It's not doing anything, but let's go ahead and add another slider in here. So I click on my slider button again. If you're not sure, it's that one right there. So I'm going to add another slider. This one I'll call my Y intercept. And negative 5 to 5 is fine with me. I'm going to make this go every uh, one one unit there. I'm also going to change the slider so that it goes vertical just to show you something different with it. So there's my vertical slider. Click apply. It's got the Y int everything. Now it's kind of off the page so I need to right click on it so I can take it. I don't want it to be a fixed object if I need to move it. Take that off. Now I can drag it down. Hey look there's my Y intercept. Then I will Go ahead, oh, it fixed the object already. I was gonna click back on the checkbox there. So now I have two sliders. If I go to my input box, I can use those two pieces of information. So let's say I put Y equals slope times X plus Y int. Then I'd have an equation and now I can change it. It's interactive or I can change this back and forth. There we go. So that's sliders, putting them on there using the button.